this part of the final exam is going to deal with the sealing system. So we're going to look at unit 309 again. So here's the floor plan, right? Actually, you will have rearranged things in this apartment to make the um, hot water pipe and cold water pipes um, op optimal, right? In any case, let's just look at this drawing. This is the floor plan for the unit. There's a mechanical room, two bathrooms, kitchen. Okay. Now we have two mechanical um, and HVAC drawings for this unit. And um, I'll describe what they are. This is another representation of unit 309. Okay, in this case, it is one a mechanical drawing. Uh, it's actually labeled 104. It's the third floor plan. It doesn't matter, but it's a mechanical drawing. And it's showing the HVAC, in this case, the heat pumps. So HP or heat pumps that provide the heating and air conditioning local to the unit, right? So let's just look at, let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Let's try to do that. So there's the layout of unit 309. Okay. The mechanical room is here. Then here's a plan for the individual heat pump units for the apartment. And the supply diffusers that go with it. So let's see what we're looking at. We're looking at ductwork. These lines represent ductworks. These are air um, supply terminals. Okay, so we have, um, let me see if um, we'll use blue to sort of indicate, identify those. I think the blue shows up all that well here. Uh, I'll try. Let's see. Can, does that look blue? Yeah, it looks blue. So we have one, two, three. And it's telling us that the pipe, the duct, is 12 by 8. Presumably a rectangular duct, right? So we're going to draw ceilings for these, um, for this apartment. So we have to keep that in mind. The unit itself is a one and a half ton. That's HP 1.5. So that's 1.5 ton 
heat pump. And it is supplying all these diffusers pictured. The symbol for the diffuser, this one that we're looking at is a wall mounted, right? And anything on a ceiling. So that's a ceiling <coughs> supply terminal. And then the wall-mounted one is this more narrow symbol that has an arrow of the air coming out of it. The second drawing that we have in the mechanical system is the ERV. Remember, we have a rooftop unit that's providing fresh air, conditioned fresh air to all the units. And that is done through connections to the um, Duct, ducts that run through the hallways. I got this. So, um, where the E is drawn that indicates an exhaust where the B is drawn is the supply the same deal ceiling mounted ceiling return And these are wall mounted. And the arrow goes the other way, it's pointing in. Wall return. The symbol for a damper, which is usually indicated along the duct, is this little L, little flag. This is a duct. This indicates volume damper. So it controls the air volume going to that, that passes through that duct. How do we go about the ceiling plan here? Well, we do that with trace paper. Let me see if I can I'm going to put this light on. Let's start with the AC unit. I'm going to place it over exactly over the room layout. Okay. I'm going to put the mechanical ones aside for now. And then I'm going to take a piece of trace paper. So 
the main thing to know here is that these are the boundaries of the unit. Right. Wherever we see duct work, the ceiling needs to be dropped. And usually we do that at wherever we see duct work and wherever we have to provide for uh, air terminals because those are going to be mounted in the ceiling. So the bathroom itself will need a drop ceiling. We'll need the ceiling to be lowered. The kitchen area, right over the kitchen, needs the ceiling to be lowered. But not all this living area. However, we have to continue to follow that drop lowered ceiling, and in this case it's gonna be um, GWB. It's gonna be slightly lower, so the ceiling height in the building is uh, nine feet, a little over nine feet, and the drop, G, uh, drop GWB ceiling Let's say it's eight and a half feet above finished floor. What else do we have to consider? We have ductwork going to the bathroom over here. So the ceiling area at least in so far as we go from the mechanical room across to the get to the bathrooms right we will probably include we have to get through this closet so i'm going to say that these that closet and this closet are going to get drop ceiling as well. And then we should also include the bathroom. Okay. Along this side, those diffusers are going to be wall mounted, so they're going to be on the inside of the ceiling, the profile of the ceiling. In the kitchen, uh, this may be a mistake. In the kitchen, we're likely to have a ceiling mounted supply. What else do we have in the ceiling? We have lights. Kitchen's got six. We had a budget for like six um, recessed lights that are going to illuminate the kitchen area. Bathroom probably have a couple lights. In each of the bathrooms. So 
So what does this finally look like? Let me put a piece of white paper beneath this. So that's going to be our reflected ceiling plan. This ceiling and the main area, I think we said it was nine feet. Let's just call it nine six. That would be to the underside of the floor above. This, these dropped areas, okay, are going to be at eight six. So they're a foot lower because they have to accommodate the duct work that has to go from the mechanical room, which is, where was the mechanical room? Which is here. So consider this, okay? The mechanical room is here. But that's going to be open above because we, we have to pipe out from the AC units to get duct work out to all these places. Let me see if I can... Um, Draw that for you. So the mechanical room, we'll draw it in blue. This is the heat, this is the um, HVAC heat pump unit, right? The 1.5 ton unit. So that's the ceiling above that has to be open. I make a little ceiling nine six. That's generally through throughout. This could be a little bit more. Let's take a um, a light. gray and colorize the drop ceiling. Right. Um, as it turns out, the most economical way to get light in in this area would be to put track track light. Right. Say eight foot length uh these are drop ceiling these are recess lights well there's track light That is supply 
air sealing supply wall mounted And what we've done in the bedrooms is just have a surface mounted lights centered in those areas. So this is surface mounted. centered and ceiling mounted light. Centered and ceiling over the bedrooms. Ditto. Okay. So for each of these apartments, you are going to consider maybe the the ERV units are not going to change it all that much, but let let let's look at that too. Uh, remember, this is the these are the individual. Um, heat pumps for the room. If I'm looking at the ERV plan, let's see if that normally would coincide with all this. But let's make sure this is right. So what we're looking at here is a mechanical room. This system is connected, however, to the corridor ducts that go up to the roof top ERV. So this is a rooftop. mechanical energy recovery ventilator okay so we have to make certain that when we draw a ceiling plan we can accommodate these devices as well. Let's look a little more closely, make sure these line up. There's our kitchen, right? Maybe I'll use a, a yellow highlighter so we can see exactly where remember the B and the arrow pointing out indicates uh, supply so that's fresh air supply and then this symbol is a return so that's the return symbol And all the supply fresh air are in the form of wall mounted
wall supply with the arrow pointing out. Wall supply air. So let's see how that fits with the ceiling plan that we have so far. We'll need the exhaust in that bathroom. These are ceiling mounted. Okay, so you got to be careful they don't conflict with the lighting. The others, um, Jury's out as to whether the wall mounted needs to be represented in the ceiling uh, plan. Did I drop that ceiling in that room? I think I did. So I should have really should have colored this. Okay, uh, we need to add a symbol here. Ceiling return ceiling return if i wanted to i suppose i could sort of indicate wall mounted wall diffuser but they don't impact the ceiling plan because they're they're um, um, installed and mounted in the walls so there's a wall mounted in there and that's indicated by the by that symbol At this point, how long did this take me to do? 30 minutes. It took 30 minutes because I spent a lot of time sort of explaining the drawing. But uh, for purposes of this exercise, this is a reflected ceiling. plan for unit 309. I did mention this before. I'm not going to require um, dimensioning. But when you have a small number of you know, typically recessed fixtures have to be dimensioned from the wall and the space between each other, but it is acceptable to make a note that the lights are centered over the kitchen area. Centered over kitchen island and the area where the range is. That's it. That's a reflected ceiling. So the ceilings that we need to draw will be for 309, 308. If you want extra credit, you can do 306 and 310 as well.